G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza, and now that I'm back from my paternity leave and ready to get back to some arty goodness, I thought I'd go to, I don't know, something a little more old school, a little more sort of reliable and familiar, but uh, I didn't want to do the same old, same old. So I thought I'd try and mix a bunch of these into one. When I say a bunch of these, I mean some of the familiar art challenges you guys might have seen on this channel. Color challenges, timed challenges, scribble challenges, random generation challenges. I'm gonna try and do all of them. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. To do this, I'm gonna be using my Arty Games app, hashtag not sponsored, but still a plug because it, I made it and it's mine and you can get it and play it. It's available on iOS and Android and it has, as you can see when you go into playing, it has all of those things I mentioned, color challenges, time challenges, scribble challenges, blah, 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 and more, including copy challenges, design mixes, incremental design, and a custom generator where you can actually make your own lists. This is one I made with Alphabet and you can randomize and randomly generate from whatever the hell you want. So if the, uh, the game itself doesn't have everything you want, you can actually add everything you want, even though there are already billions of combinations on here. So go check it out. Supporting it is supporting me. It's only a couple of bucks, less than a cup of coffee, and it has a whole bunch of different game modes so you can get your creative juices flowing. That's enough of a plug aside. I'm actually gonna go in and start generating five different challenges. The first one is just sort of already generated and that's the time to challenge. The max time is, is what I'm gonna take, which will be 20 minutes. But I'm gonna start off by going through a bunch of these without a timer just to generate the challenges. And with the color challenge, you can actually select up to five colors, between one and five colors from a selection of colors that you put in there. So I'm gonna put all my Copic markers in there and generate five colors and pull them out from here. What do we got? E29 Burnt Umber, Y38 Honey, G09 Ver Veris Veris. Verse, verse, Veronese, Veronese Green. It's a technical term. YR09. Chinese Orange. That's racist. Did I just make this all good? I think I just made this all good. <laughs> N3. Haha. <laughs> I gotta say, this is, this is gonna be one of the best random color generated picks I've ever had because I've, every time I do like a random color generation, I always get like three of the nearly same color. So this is nice. We've got a variety here, very earthy, warmish colors. So that's our that's our first two out of four, five, four, five, five. Ooh. Whose idea was this? So what I'm actually gonna do is, uh, the, the remaining three are gonna be two random generated prompts and one scribble. The prompts are gonna be an environment and a character. And then the last one I'll do, which will be when the timer starts, will be a scribble. I'm gonna copy down the scribble and find out, figure out, try and bloody figure out how the hell I'm gonna make this work. Let's start off with the environment and let's go uh, either interior or exterior. Bink. And we're gonna be doing a hidden cave being attacked by dragons and features a sword stuck in a stone. Whatever the character is, better bloody fit in a very medieval <laughs> adventure-like environment. All right, what do we got now for our characters? Now, you can choose between a design and a scenario. A scenario sort of includes an environment or something that's happening. We sort of have that with the environment already, so I'm just gonna go design, which will give a, a character design. And we're gonna be doing a, please don't be horrible, an overworked employee who can talk to animals and has robotic eyes. It's a perfect fit. <laughs> God damn it. Let's do a scribble challenge with the maximum difficulty of scribbles because <laughs> I'm a boss. Three scribbles, 20 minutes, I'm nervous, and try not to hesitate. Boom. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna copy that down. Okay. Uh, oof. Oh, there we go. We've got the scribble copied down. God, this is gonna be terrible! Hidden cave. Doesn't have to be upright. I could do it this way! Still don't see anything. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, <laughs> whose idea was this? I think of the torturing ideas before I actually think about the, the impact on my mental health that these will have. Okay. I just gotta start drawing. This can be a dragon's jaw. It's uh, a hidden cave being attacked by dragons, so we need several dragons. So this is just one that's up close and personal with our employee here, and the employee happens to be a dragon trainer. So the dragon has uh, 
There's a bit of a bloody uh, harnessy thing here. I don't know what a dragon face harness looks like. He's not very happy though. He's not not very pleased. I feel like the overworked employee should be standing right here, and he should be like for for a sense of scale, like be directly. Ooh, that looks like he's sniffing the dude's crotch. <laughs> let's move, let's give him a little bit of distance. All right, overworked employee. They're both like just done with this. So this employee is not even like that panicked. He's just sort of like, ugh, not again. So there's a sword in stone. How are we going for time? I got 15 minutes. There's a sword and there's a stone and there's a cave. The sword is in the cave. So where the, here's the cave. <laughs> Uh, why is this going down this way? Uh, maybe it joins up to another harness thing here. Now, I don't want the picture to feel too flat because I've got a bit of a flat front here. So let's try and add some depth and pull it, pull away a bit, add a bit of perspective to, uh, I don't know, involve some more dragons and a bit more of a landscape. So we'll add some mountains and a big kingdom. Ah, uh, this is going to be really hard when it gets to color. Let me sort of divide this already. Yellow and orange. Good for the dragon. Green, good for the grass. Brown, good for the cave. That employee dude is gonna be really pale. Wait, he's robotic guys. He's a robot. I have grey. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, man, bloody got 13 minutes left, and we just struck gold. All right, let's make him robot more robotic. He is uh, an overworked robot employee of this cyberpunk. Medieval... I don't know. I have like a little dragon head popping out over the top here. He's like, hmm, might get me some of that uh, magic sword if I may. All right, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like I need to move on to line work because I only have 12 minutes left and I don't have to do color and everything else. So let's define this robot dude a little bit more. I feel like to handle dragons, he needs bigger hands. Let's give him like big robot gauntlet things. I'll kind of make him look sort of knightish as far as how the uh, robot-y look is constructed because it still has to fit with medieval aesthetic. I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's go into line work. I'm gonna go to a point eight and I'll add thicker lines later just as I define uh, the core elements of this piece. Where are we up for time? Seven and a half minutes. I really gotta get to color. Ah! There's my hidden cave. Uh, let's just quickly go through and add just some silhouettes for the, <laughs> this is gonna be the worst looking cut, like kingdom silhouette ever. I was gonna go for something like a little cooler and more ambitious looking, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it looks so like goofy and devious. Mmm, please give me the sword. I really want it. I don't know why. I think that's what it sound, sounds like, but I'm under pressure, so stop judging me. I'm gonna go to my Copic Guess and Fude pen, and I'm just gonna go straight into this dragon and brush in a silhouette. Oh man, we have three minutes. Oh, damn. We need some foreground division here, so I'm just gonna take my marker and outline the foremost elements of the piece, just to divide it up a bit. Holy crap, I have one minute and 40 seconds. I am wasting time on this. Okay, color, 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 color. Oh man, I'm not even gonna be able to fully fill these in. All right, let's just go straight to gray. I'm gonna have to rush this. That's a real bloody shame. We've got one minute left. How the hell am I gonna do this in one minute? Dragon here. You, you're a yellow, you're an orange fella. Chinese dragon. Cause it's Chinese orange. Don't got time for art, but apparently I've got time for dumb jokes. Adding yellow as a second shade to the skin cause detail or something. I have 29 seconds. Oh God. Yeah. Green. This is, <laughs> this ain't pretty. <laughs> 11 seconds. Brown, brown. Cave, brown cave. Four, three. Oh my God. No. This <laughs> Ah! <sighs> Time's up. Well, that is something. Do you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. I've got uh, two shades of it's the cut. It's... Okay, this bit's pretty awful. But you know what? For five challenges in one, I think I did pretty damn good. And if you think you can do better, please attempt it and tweet me, because. I feel like crying. Again, why do I always feel like crying at the end of these?
Uh. All constraints considered, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to give it a go yourself and of course if you want to support me in the channel, go check out Arty Games. It's available on iOS, Android and PC. Links are in the description. Make sure to leave a comment below if you have any challenge or video ideas as I get back to the grind after having my beautiful baby daughter. And once again, if you missed that vlog of my beautiful baby being born, go check it out. It was a really nice moment and it's really nice to have all of your support as I took time away and now I'm coming back and I can't wait to get back into the swing of things with you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more fun with art, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.